Miffy loved music and she was learning to play the recorder. You play that very nicely, Miffy, said Mother Bunny, but that tune needs more players. Miffy said, Yes, I can invite my friend Aggie. She can play the accordion. Yes, said Mother Bunny, and Poppy Pig plays the double bass beautifully. I will call her on the telephone and invite her to join us. <laughs> On the telephone, Poppy said, Of course I'll come. I like to play music. Can I bring my little niece, Grunty? She's staying with me this week. She plays the piano. Oh dear, said Mother Bunny. What a pity. We don't have a piano. Do bring little Grunty, though. We'll find something for her to play. Soon Aggie arrived, and now they could play a two-part melody. It took a long time for Poppy Pig to carry her big double bass up the hill to Miffy's house. At last, she and Grunty arrived. Then, Miffy, Aggie and Poppy began to play a three-part melody. sounded even better, but little Grunty had nothing to play, and that was no fun for her. We have no real piano, Grunty, said Miffy, but I do have a nice toy piano. Sure, you can make it sound wonderful. Now they could all play together. How wonderful it sounded! It was a rainy day. What shall I do today, said Miffy. I can't go out in the rain to play with my friends. Well, you can help me do the dishes, said Mother Bunny. So Miffy dried the dishes. Then she swept the floor. Thank you for your help, said Mother Bunny. Miffy looked out of the window again. Still, she had to stay in the house. What else can I do for you, Mother? 
asked Miffy. You've helped me enough, said Mother Bunny. Why don't you take your crayons and draw some nice pictures? Yes, said Miffy. I like to draw pictures. So Miffy drew a picture of her back garden with a blue sky and the sun shining brightly. But when Miffy looked out of her window to her back garden, the sky was not blue and the sun was not shining. It was raining harder than ever. What should I do now? She sighed. What shall I do, Mother? asked Miffy. I've dried the dishes, I've swept the floor, and I've drawn a picture. Why don't you read a book? said Mother Bunny. Oh, that's a good idea, said Miffy. Miffy read a nice story about a sunny day at the beach. She looked out of her window again and saw that it was still raining hard. Her mother said, Miffy, if you listen to some nice music, it will make you feel happy. So Miffy listened to some music from sunny Spain. But outside her little house, it began to look like the North Pole. While the music was playing, the rain had turned to snow. Mother Bunny called, Miffy, Miffy! Look outside, it's so beautiful! How strange, Miffy thought. It has been raining all day and Mother says it's beautiful. Miffy looked through the window. What did she see? Everything was covered with soft white snow. The sky was blue again. How wonderful! Miffy took a warm coat and a scarf. She dressed herself and ran outside where she could play with her friends at last. One morning, Miffy heard a strange scratching at her front door. What could that be? She wondered. She opened the door and there was a friendly little brown dog. The little dog wagged its tail happily. What's your name, little dog? asked Miffy. But the dog only went... Miffy laughed and said, I think your name is Snuffy. Shall I give you some water? It's hot today. You must be very thirsty. Miffy went into the kitchen. She filled a bowl with cold water. Snuffy happily drank the water. Miffy asked her, Would you like to play with me in our garden? Miffy led Snuffy to the garden. Show me what you can do. Can you sit? 
Snuffy sat. Can you sit up and beg? Snuffy sat up. Can you roll over? Snuffy rolled over. What else can you do? Suddenly, Snuffy pricked up her ears and started running around the house. What's the matter? asked Miffy. Is there something wrong? Snuffy stopped at the kitchen window and started to bark. <laughs> Miffy ran up to the window and looked in to see what was the matter. She saw that she had forgotten to turn off the water at the kitchen sink and it was still running. What a clever dog you are, Snuffy, said Miffy. When I went to the kitchen to get water for you to drink, I forgot to turn off the tap. Miffy went quickly into the house. She turned off the water. Oh, Snuffy, said Miffy. You are such a clever little dog. Now you must be very hungry. I'll give you a biscuit. said Snuffy happily. Her little tail was wagging with joy. It was so nice that you came to visit me. You can come to see me any time you like. Snuffy barked happily, which meant, yes, I will. One day, Boris Bear was working very hard. He was sawing logs into planks. Just then, Miffy came into the woods to visit. What are you doing, Boris? asked Miffy. I'm sawing these logs into planks, said Boris. What do you do with the planks? asked Miffy. I can make lots of things with these wooden planks, Miffy. Let me show you. Boris took Miffy into his house to show her what he had made with the planks of wood. I made this table with my planks. I made this bench with my planks. I even made these walls with my planks. I can make almost anything with wooden planks. Come and see. He took Miffy to his workbench. I'll make something special for you, and while I'm working on it, you can try to guess what it is. Boris put two planks side by side on his workbench. Is it going to be a table? asked Miffy. No, said Boris. It's not going to be a table. Then he put two more planks at the ends. Oh, said Miffy. Is it going to be a bench when you turn it over? No, said Boris. It won't be a bench. Then he put two more planks by the sides. I know, said Miffy. Is it going to be a box when you put the top on it? No, said Boris. It doesn't have a top and it won't be a box. Then Boris pounded in nails all around to hold it together.
Then he took a round log and sawed off four pieces. He put the four round pieces of wood on the sides. Now you can see what it will be, said Boris. I know, shouted Miffy happily. It will be a little wagon. You're right, said Boris. It will be a little wooden wagon and it's nearly finished. Miffy jumped with joy when she saw it all finished. What a lovely wagon, she said. Thank you so much, Boris. Step into your new wagon, Miffy, said Boris, and I will pull you home. Miffy carefully sat down in her wagon and rode home in great style. It was a beautiful morning and Miffy thought, this is a perfect day to visit my Auntie Alice. Miffy asked her mother if she could go to Auntie Alice's house. If you go, you should bring Auntie Alice a nice present, said Mother Bunny. Miffy thought, what kind of present can I bring my auntie? Miffy looked out of her window and saw beautiful flowers growing in her garden. Can I pick some flowers from the garden to give to Auntie Alice? asked Miffy. Yes, of course, said her mother. Miffy picked a lovely blue flower, then a yellow flower, and a red flower. These flowers make a beautiful present, thought Miffy. I'm sure Auntie Alice will be pleased with these. Miffy was walking down the path on her way to visit her Auntie Alice when she passed Poppy Pig's house. Hello, Miffy. What are you carrying? I'm taking some flowers to my Auntie Alice, answered Miffy. Oh dear, cried Poppy. Are you hurt? I'm okay, cried Miffy, but my flowers are ruined. I can't visit Auntie Alice without taking her a present. Don't be sad, Miffy, said Poppy. I will give you a big bunch of fresh carrots from my garden. Your auntie will love them. Oh, that's very kind of you, Poppy. You're my friend, Miffy, said Poppy. And friends always help each other. So Poppy led Miffy to her garden and pulled out lots of fresh carrots and put them in a basket for Miffy to carry. Miffy thanked Poppy Pig. Poppy was a good friend. When Miffy arrived at Auntie Alice's house, she gave her auntie the fresh carrots. Her aunt was very pleased. Miffy told Auntie Alice how Poppy had helped her. Miffy 
Miffy, Auntie Alice told her, you're lucky to have such a good friend. No one can be happy without friends. No one can be happy without fresh biscuits either, said Auntie Alice, as she put a plate full of warm biscuits before Miffy. They had come fresh from the oven. Mmm, thought Miffy. My auntie is a good friend too. Puff.